On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at a Shimano 105 cassette. More specifically, this is the CSR7000 cassette uh, in the 1132 variant. So this cassette is available from a 1225, 1128, 1130, or the big boy here, the 1132. So let's pop it out of the package. We'll take a look at the construction. We'll also find out what it weighs and the gear gaps. While I'm taking it out of the box, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future. With the cassette out of the package, you can see that the construction on this is really very nice. Now, this R7000 cassette is the widest range that you can get branded as 105. I'll have linked down in the description below the 1134 variant that's also compatible with Shimano's 105 R7000. That cassette is actually not branded as 105, so that makes this the widest range that you can get with a R7000 branding. All of the rings on the cassette, these are actually going to be made out of steel. Now, these steel rings actually do have a nickel plating to them, which is going to allow these rings to be very uh, both durable because they're made out of steel, but also corrosion resistant because of that nickel plating. And then on your largest three gears, you'll actually notice it's attached to an aluminum spider. So this aluminum spider does have each of the rings pinned into it, and that's gonna help save some weight over a full steel ring. The other nice thing is these are gonna be the ones that you have the most torque on. And because of that, when it's on this carrier, the carrier actually is quite a bit wider than just a single tooth. So you'll get less notching into the free hub body in that scenario. So when we look at this set of three rings with the aluminum spider, you'll see that it goes from a 32 to a 28 to a 25, and that's gonna come in at 140 grams. Your next cog here is a 22, a 20, an 18, a 16, a 14, 13, 12, 11, and then finally your cassette lock ring. And that puts this 1132 Shimano R7000 105 cassette to a reasonably light 306 grams. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Shimano R7000 1132. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and then as always, click that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future.